Hey friends, this is Christopher Davis Shannon, and today I'm going to show you how to play the split stroke. If you've no idea what that is, we're just learning a new strumming pattern. If you already know how to play a split stroke, I'm going to have you think about it in an entirely different way. The split stroke is a technique that is generally attributed to the great George Formby, and I will link to my series here on all of Formby's incredible right hand techniques. But what we're going to do in this video is take one of his most popular techniques and take it fully outside of that context and think about it in a different way. The split stroke is a technique that he used to play syncopated rhythms and melodies across the outer string. So it sounded a little bit something like this. So with this, what we need is a very specific strumming pattern, and that's what the split stroke is. Now, the split stroke can be thought of in a lot of different ways, but for our purposes, we're going to think of it in its most basic form, which is a three-note pattern. And that is a down strum, an up strum, and a down strum, which sounds easy. If we played that... It would sound like that. But what we're going to play is this. And then we can have those moving melody lines if we want. And we're going to think of it as a waltz. So let's get our brain in waltz mode. When we're thinking about a waltz, it has three beats in each and every measure. So we're thinking one, two, three. One, two, three. Just mute your strum strings and do a down strum with me here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And what you'll probably notice is that you're naturally accenting beat one. We don't actually go one, two, three. We go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is where our split stroke comes into play because we're going to have a naturally accented beat one. So we do our split stroke. We're going to do our first strum as we normally would. Just come down with the index finger, full down strum. Now comes the secret. The up strum is going to catch just the A string, maybe the A string and E string. It's okay if you get a little bit extra in there. And then that second down strum that we have in the measure is going to just glance off of the G string and bounce up. So if we do it muted, it sounds like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now let's put down a C major chord and let's try that together and see how it sounds in our waltz pattern. One, two, three. Down, up, down, 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 down, up. Let's try that over some chord changes. What we're going to do is two measures, or six beats of C, and then six beats of G7, and we'll repeat that with just our little split stroke pattern. One, two, three. Three. G seventh. Back to C. G seventh. And end on C. And that's all we really need for what we're going to do at the moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some chords up on screen and we're going to do a little play along to the chords of Take Me Out to the Ball Game with our split stroke pattern as a waltz throughout. One, two, three, one, two, three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Me some peanuts and crack a check. I don't care if we never get back for the root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball. 
Hey friends, if you enjoy these lessons, don't forget to subscribe. It helps a ton. And if you would like printables to go with every single one of my lessons, as well as access to my tabs and live streamed lessons a few times a month, join me over on the Tim Mann's Magic Ukulele Club. Now the next little bit we can add in are the finger lifts, which are exactly what they sound like. Now when we have our down strum, we'll strum our chord, but on the up strum, we'll lift up whatever finger is and play an open A string. So we'll hear this. Let's try that together, just over our C and G seventh chords again. So on the C, we'll lift up to an open A string. To our G seventh, we'll lift up the ring finger to an open A string every time that we have an up strum and back down. All right, let's try that together, starting on C major. One, two, three. G seventh. Back to C. G seventh. Good, now let's take that concept and let's do it over the chord changes we just used to take me out to the ball game and we'll breathe some new life into this old tune. One, two, three, one, two, three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crack a jet. If you've been working on the split stroke for a while and it just hasn't been coming to you, this exercise can really help in internalizing what the wrist motion is that we need. All of 4B's split stroke patterns were based off of this, you know, down, up, down sort of thing. But generally we might think of it a little bit differently because of the beat that it lays on. So you'll often hear it called down, down, up. It doesn't really matter because in the end, our wrist is still doing the same motion no matter where in the pattern that we start. The key is to getting your wrist used to doing this. Now that, of course, I wouldn't play Take Me Out to the Ball Game as a strict waltz like this. I'd probably put it in four and swing it. So maybe it would sound a little bit something like this. We'll see if we can get some split strokes in here as well. And crack a jack. I don't care if I never.